Four. This is breaking news now on your side. Police find a severed head in a car and body parts in this Milwaukee home. Andy Scholes is live where police found the dismembered body. Andy, neighbors just have to be stunned by all this. They really are. Courtney and Mike, the details are just gruesome. Body parts found in the basement of this home, a severed head found in the trunk of a car. Now a man is in custody in a string of horrors that police say started in Wausau and ended right here on Milwaukee's west side. This Milwaukee house is the scene of a gory discovery. A man's body cut into pieces, his severed head found in a car parked outside. I mean, Mike Coffey had just made it home when police arrived at the house next door. What was the scene like out here? Chaotic. Yeah. Authorities say it all began at this Wausau home April 6th when Ku Tao shot and killed Tong Hang. Tao and his brother in law wrapped Hang's body in a tarp and threw it in the back of a Honda. Nearly two weeks later, authorities were tipped off that Tao had ties to this address on Milwaukee's west side. Mike tells me he didn't know much about his neighbors. It moved in a couple of months ago. Yeah. You know, kind of weird, but yeah. other than that. When police saw the Honda parked outside, they made their move. Tao tried to run, but an officer was able to catch him and put him in cuffs. That's when they found Hang's head in a bucket in the trunk of the Honda, a gunshot wound between the eyes. The other parts of his body? In pieces in the basement. And even though Tao is in custody, Mike says it's all a little too much to take. Actually, I'm already looking for a place to uh, move to. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of crazy. I bet. Yeah, that's, that's a little too bizarre for me. And Tao faces multiple charges, including homicide and weapons possession. Milwaukee Police Chief Ed Flynn said today they will continue to work with Wausau authorities until they can bring this case to a close. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Annie Schultz, today's TMJ4. Yeah, pretty unnerving to have a dismembered body right next to your own house. Thanks a lot, Annie.